and we wanted this to be a living space for art where we can display art and also have a very immersive artistic experience within our own home. Welcome to our home. Come on in. I started my art collection back in college in Japan and I think being surrounded by Japanese artists really inspired me to bring some of their pieces to my place. The biggest challenge when designing a house that tries to incorporate an art gallery theme was lack of space. We also love the idea of using cement as a backdrop because this is a great canvas on which we can highlight the art on display. What the moving panels also do is they hide our projector. So if we feel like watching a movie, I can actually bring down the projector. What we also have here is our communal dining table which we designed. What we really like about this table is the fact that the legs are transparent, so it gives you a perception that is actually floating, and it's large enough to host friends and family. Another change we made in this place was um, enlarging the size of the corridor so it almost feels as if you're walking through an art gallery. And you can stand here for example and see that piece all the way towards the end. You see pieces displayed in the wall with a special tracks where you can hang without having pins attached to the wall. If you think about art gallery, they're often very spacious places with high ceilings and after all this is a HDB. So what we did was we made a lot of clever use of spotlight. We also have created a lot of spaces where you wouldn't expect there to be possible to display art. You wouldn't actually know that this is the gas toilet. I came up with this idea of a table where it can be brought down to hide all my makeup products which are laid out. This is where we have all the clothes stored and I use this space to work from home. So basically you can actually move this and make it into a larger table. This is my favorite hangout space in the house. It's the yoga room as well as the guest studio. Behind these mirrors as well are more storage cabinets. It is the one place in this home which is sacred to me. This is our master bedroom and we've knocked down the walls and it also doesn't have a door so the whole concept is much more open. You'll be surprised that even our toilet doesn't have a door. The other thing that we did was that we brought the sink outside of the toilet and what this allows is again a much more spacious showering area as well as overall a more luxe and hotelish type of vibe. And we have a lot of hidden storage in the bathroom as well. So this art piece on the back was commissioned to a Bangkok artist. I don't know if you can tell but it's actually a painting of us 
Hopefully, you can see the resemblance. It's really lovely to be surrounded by all these art pieces because every single piece represents a special place in time, a certain memory, 